Hello, I'm Sue Phillips. I'm a leading expert in fragrance. I love fragrance. I love to create fragrances for men, women. We do events for corporations and team building. And I love to speak about fragrance and what fragrance says about you and how to build positivity and confidence. Hello and good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Uh, I'm delighted to be part of Manhattan Chamber of Commerce's Marketing Week NYC and tonight we're going to be exploring fragrance as a marketing and branding tool. I've held senior positions at Elizabeth Arden, Lancome and Tiffany & Company where I developed and launched the first Tiffany perfume for women. I then established my own global consultancy which is called Centerprises. I'm president and CEO of Centerprises and my company uh, just launched the Centarium, a custom perfumery downtown in, in Tribeca. I am absolutely delighted to say that we create fragrances for men and women, and we do bridal events and corporate events, and we also are now starting to develop fragrances for corporate branding. I'm passionate about fragrance, and I, to me, fragrance is more than just spraying at a store. It links memory, emotion, and it's a connection to the consumer. So why has fragrance become such an important part for branding? Our sense of smell is the most powerful of all our senses and is the one area that connects memory and emotion. And it's actually connected to the limbic system, which houses the olfactory bulb. The limbic system connects basic emotions such as fear, pleasure, anger, and it drives fear, sex, hunger, and passion. The limbic system is a complex set of structures that lies on both sides of the cerebrum. And so, basically, our sense of smell is considered right here, right between the eyes. The olfactory bulb transmits smell information from the nose to the brain and is very necessary for a proper sense of smell. You know, as the population is aging, a lot of people have lost their sense of smell and because smell and taste are so, re uh, so related and so linked, many people who have lost their sense of smell have actually lost their sense of taste and therefore a lot of people get very depressed. Well, based on the fact that our sense of smell is the most powerful after sight, people and companies are recognizing that fragrance branding is a very important marketing tool. As part of Marketing Week NYC, I'd like to just let you know that we're going to be discussing marketing and branding. So branding is strategic and marketing is tactical. Marketing may contribute to a brand, but the brand is bigger than any particular marketing campaign. Think about all the brands out there that have created certain marketing campaigns. Do you remember every marketing campaign that perhaps Diet Pepsi or some of these big brands have created? No, not necessarily, but we do remember the brand. So it is the marketing that may unearth and convince you to buy a particular product, but it's the brand that will cause you to be a loyal consumer, and then you'll continue to stay with that brand, hopefully for the rest of your life. Marketing unearths and activates buyers, but branding really does create and make loyal consumers. Our sense of smell now is the power to incite loyalty. It drives an emotional connection and it creates memories in a very, very big way. Many brands are now incorporating ambient scenting as part of their marketing mix. How many of you have been to Las Vegas? How many of you have actually experienced some of the, the hotels and the fragrances that you experience in the hotels? Well, ambient scenting is used in so many public places hotels, spas, casinos, hospitals, resorts, and retail stores. Initially, in the hotels in Las Vegas, ambient scenting, or the fragrance, was used to counteract the smoke odors because of all the smoke that was in the casinos. Well, they realized that people really loved the aromas that they were smelling, and they connected it to the brand. So as a result, many, many hotels, in almost all of the hotels in Las Vegas, have now used scent as part of their branding mix. So some of the major brands that have incorporated scent branding are Starbucks, Abercrombie & Fitch, The Western Hotel, and many, many others. So how do we determine which fragrance is right for a brand? Typically, every brand has its own architecture, its own positioning, its own color scheme, and so on. And we need to really do an in-depth study into the brand architecture to determine which fragrance is right for them. 
in the fragrance area, we have many, many different fragrance families, but I've narrowed it down to four major fragrance families, which would be fresh, all those wonderful citrus notes, the sparkling lemon, the lime, the orange, neroli or bergamot, the florals, think about all those beautiful floral notes, the lilies, the rose, the jasmine. Uh, then of course there's the woodsy category, beautiful creamy, rich sandalwood notes, birchwood notes. And then, of course, finally, the oriental, those exotic, smoldering, sensual, spicy notes. So within a brand discussion, we would then define which fragrances would work well for the brand. And then we would be able to determine why the necessary fragrance family would be appropriate for the brand. There have been studies where fragrance has been used to actually increase sales. They actually used the scent of chocolate in a Belgian bookstore and they diffused the fragrance in one area of the bookstore and in the other area they didn't. But in the first area they determined that when the scent of chocolate was diffusing in the air, sales of the books in that category rose by 40% and sales of the other area where the fragrance was not diffused rose by an impressive 20% just for the fact that people were actually staying in the store longer and reading the book titles. Vanilla is a very important sense because it really reminds us of our childhood and many companies are using vanilla as a way to really create wonderful positive memories and emotions and to link back childhood memories. The scent of lemon has become a really important area to promote freshness and cleanness and also to produce productivity. The scent of lemon has been used very frequently in co companies to produce and promote productivity in their factory workers. Studies have shown that the scent of coffee and the smell of coffee can just wake people up and create an energy and a vitality. Uh, and actually studies have shown that just a smell of coffee alone is enough to wake up a bunch of sleep deprived rats. <laughs> well, fragrance is also very much used in fashion. And it is very linked to fashion. Many, many fashion designers, of course, have their fragrances. And f the fragrance industry is estimated to be at a $38 billion industry and is still growing. So fashion is very much defined by its silhouette. And every decade has its own silhouette, from the cinched in waists, to the wide shoulders, to the narrow shoulders, to the mini skirts, to the long skirts. So we can really see every fashion silhouette and know what decade it is. Well, the same is true for fragrance. Every fragrance has pretty much had its own fragrance profile. Uh, and we really start with the uh, classic designer fragrances uh, from Coco Chanel and Chalimar and Arpege. And those fragrances are very much, very iconic. And so through the decades, we've had classic fragrances to designer fragrances to celebrity fragrances. And now the new trend is bespoke or custom fragrances, not just for individuals, but for brands as well. And here you can see uh, some of the brands that we've spoken about that have really defined and have developed their own signature scents. Well, fragrance is now also being used as an art form. Interestingly enough, just a few weeks ago in Paris, they actually had a beautiful scent exhibition where they showed fragrance as an art form at the Palais Royal. So fragrance is not just a commercial venture, but it is also used for signature scents, for people, for brands. And I urge you to really explore your sense of smell. I like to say to people, smell well and smell often, because our sense of smell is just a muscle. The more you smell, the more you use it, the more you'll gain pleasure. And the truth of the matter is that without our sense of smell, we really will not have much pleasure because sense of smell is so related, as I had mentioned, to memory and taste and emotion. So I invite you all to come up to our display and to explore some of the beautiful fragrances that we've brought for you tonight, the fresh, the floral, the woodsy and the oriental. And if you at all would like to think about a custom fragrance for yourself or your brand, we would love to work with you and we'd love to help you. So thank you so much. Thank you, Manhattan Chamber of Commerce, and thank you all for attending. It's been a joy to speak to you.